Rightio, this bogey tip is all about uh, white reflective skin, or be it tan reflective skin, doesn't matter. Reflective skin is our skin reflects UV light. What makes us look shiny to us, but to a deer, they actually see the UV light bouncing off it. That's a glow an effect of the UV coming off, whether it's your hands or your face. Bogey tips is quite a simple one. It's all to do with the way deer see compared to our hands and our face. No matter whether you're light or dark skin, skin reflects light. Being alive, we reflect light, just like a, an animal's shiny coat reflects off their fur. So it's that UV bouncing off our skin is what the animals can see. So when we're deer hunting, that's what they notice, whether it be our shiny hands or a round shiny face. Now from the age of being born, deer are trained to look for that round, sort of reflective light surface that's light coloured and that's being the back end of mum. When her tail goes up being alarmed, it opens up a big round circle, and the deer focus on that, and that's being be alarmed, pay attention to mum. And it's an instant sort of auto cue for them to pay attention. So when we walk around the forest and they see a round face that represents that, they catch onto it without even paying any real attention. So covering our hands and face is a big must for me when we're, when we're out chasing samba deer. So, as hunters, what I highly recommend and wouldn't go out in the bush without, is a face veil, a thumb description. We have the mesh style ones, and then we have the stretchy necktie style ones. I run both depending on what conditions I'm after. I run the necktie one in the warm months because it protects me better from bugs and mosquitoes biting me, and it doesn't affect the fact that because of the warmer glass, I don't fog up my glass. In the cooler months when most of us hunt, you'll see most of my videos, I'm running this style one because I can breathe through it. As I'm wearing it, I get it set up on my face, you can see. It covers all my sort of reflective skin, just leaving my eyes. But the only way that, that heat can get out if it wasn't mesh is out through the top here, and that would fog your binoculars or your scope. Because it is mesh, I can breathe straight through the mesh, and I don't tend to fog up my binoculars and glass, sitting in cold weather when you're breathing out warm air under cold glass, it just fogs. So in the cooler months, this is what I wear. This is what I wear most of winter when I'm hunting. Most of my customers, most of the videos you'll see, I'm wearing one of these mesh style ones. As soon as the weather sort of warms up and your glass is not as cold, I switch to the necktie one. Same setup. Pull him down. Now we can run these a few different ways. I definitely run it over the top of my shirt so it stops any of the bugs and mosquitoes getting down and eating me. I run it up high in the back, covering my ears and the back of my neck. And then I pull it up on my face for hiding my face as well. Probably a bit more muffled now, but it's the same principle. It hides that shiny reflective face, so it's hiding my reflective face. That's the purpose of it. Plenty of times sitting, waiting off wallows or around waiting for deer to come out late afternoon and getting eaten by bugs, they stop it. But being warm weather, your glass is warmer, you won't get the fogging effect on your glass. So I tend to wear these ones in the, in the warmer months when I'm actually out hunting and I'm worried about getting eaten by mosquitoes and bugs and I'm not too concerned about the fact that when I wear it like this the small, small pockets either side of my nose is where the hot air escapes and fogs your glass and your binos or your scope so it doesn't really matter when it's warm weather so that's the purpose of why I run two different styles of, of face veils is to do with conditions so it's simple but sounds quite the opposite of what you want the warmer feeling one I wear in the warmer months and the cooler mesh one I wear in the colder months just because it stops the fogging in the glass. Both do the same purpose. They get rid of that shiny reflective skin of mine that the deer pick up the UV, but they still let you cover your face. Stops bugs eating me, stops fogging glass. So, hope that helped. Happy hunting, see you next time.